Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is day three of What's for Dinner collab that we are doing with Chill Family Vlogs and Three Roots Family. So make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button so you guys can finish watching our series that is going to end on Sunday. Make sure that you guys subscribe to Chill Family Vlogs and Three Roots Family so you guys can see what they are doing for dinner as well. So today we are going to do some chicken fajitas and some white pasta that my dad has taught me how to do. So let's go ahead and get started guys. Hope you enjoy. Alright guys, like I said today, we are going to make chicken fajitas and this white pasta that I did. I like using these because it's bigger. It's like bigger little pasta things. Um, and it's more easier for my um, baby to grab and feed herself and my son. Um, to also my three year old to also be using it, but you guys can use any type of noodles You can also use spaghetti noodles, whatever is your desire. Um, it's a pasta It doesn't really have a name to it because my dad is the one that uh, taught me it. it I'm pretty sure that there's a name for it in the um, internet or something But all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and throw it in here Put some water in it, put some salt in it, and then go ahead and cook it until it's tender, just like a normal pasta. And then we'll go ahead and get to the rest. I'm gonna get some chicken breast, no uh, bones or anything like that, and you're just gonna cut it into pieces. Like I said, this meal is very versatile, so the size is what you prefer. Since I'm going to do um, chicken fajitas, I'm gonna make the ch pieces like about this long. My nose is right there in the background. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so, I mean, probably like this. It's up to you, like I said, you can make them in. You can make it in long. So I will show you guys. But right now, if you guys can see, that thing is boiling. So we're going to go ahead and try it out. So it looks like it's already cooked. So now that it's already cooked, I'm going to go ahead and drain this out and then continue on with the process. All right, so now that it's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and season it. Um, I like this one. It's really good. It's adobo with pepper. You can season it with whatever you guys like, but I, as you guys can tell, I really like this, so we have to get some more. And I also like using this garlic and parsley salt, so we're going to go ahead and season it like that. If you guys have favorite seasonings, uh, by all means, season it however you guys want. gonna go ahead and stir it all in. I think it like, smells so so good. It is like, I'll try to see if I can show you guys. These are the ingredients right there. In case you guys want to like, go ahead and lower it, um, put pause on it. These are all the ingredients. So if you guys can't find this one where you guys live, you can go ahead and use these seasonings with it and just mix it all together. So I went ahead and uh, washed two potatoes. And I'm going to go ahead and cut them in strips as well. Everything's going to be in strips. So we're going to go ahead and do it. And these are my little ingredients. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give it a little stir. You guys can smell this. It's <laughs> Oh my god, this is painful. I've tried anything. If you guys have any suggestions, 
so that your eyes do not water when you cook when you're cutting up onions. Let me know in the comments below, please. Thank you. And it's already frying, so I went ahead and um, added the onions to it. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and add this to that so it can start cooking as well. So we're going to go ahead and put the tomatoes on the side right here because we're not going to use it until it's almost cooked because we don't want the tomato to get mushy. So we're just going to leave it on the side for later. So now we're going to go ahead and start the pasta. This is still cooking so I'm just going to lower the temperature a little bit and cover it up. All right, so for the next, for the pasta, what we're going to use is some onion and tomato, as always, um, the amounts that you guys want. <clears throat> we're also going to use uh, some butter. We're going to use some sour cream. If you guys like the light cream, it's up to you guys, and then some mayo. So let me go ahead and chop these up, and then I'll show you how to do it. All right, so I chopped up some onion and some tomatoes. So in this bowl, this um, pot, we're actually going to add about a tablespoon of butter, like that. And we're going to go ahead and add the onion and tomato, and we're going to fry them a little bit. We're going to go ahead and add the pasta to it. We're going to go ahead and stir it so that almost all the pasta gets the onion and the tomato flavor. What I do is that for every mayonnaise, a spoonful of mayonnaise, it's two of cream. So I'm going to go ahead and put about two spoonfuls of mayo. And then we're going to go ahead and put two, three of sour cream and we're going to go ahead and stir it. Go ahead and use the Himalayan salt again. And now we're going to go ahead and lower the temperature down to a low and cover this up and let it sit for about 10 minutes. It smells so, so good. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and try um, and see if the Potato is tender because that's the one that takes a little bit longer to cook. And if you guys can see, it already, it will, if you push in the potato, you can see that it cracks. So we're going to go ahead and add the tomato. So we're going to go ahead and let this sit for, for about 10 minutes or so. And we're going to lower the heat down also, as you guys can see, to meet low. And then we're going to go ahead and cover it up as well. I'll check with you guys in a little bit um, as soon as I get my plate ready so I can show you guys how it looks. So, hope you guys enjoyed. All right, guys. So, this is a finished plate. Some pasta and then some fajitas on the side. It's very, very good and it smells wonderful. hope that you guys are enjoying this series. Make sure that you guys are also following the other lovely ladies that are doing this collab. As like I said before, it's hosted by Chill Family Vlogs and Three Roots Family is also participating in this little series that we're doing so make sure that you guys um check out our video for tomorrow and see what's for dinner i hope you guys enjoy it and have a wonderful day live life positive guys bye